What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah, aka Zay, and I'm with my main <laughs> man, Nate Dog. Yeah. And yeah. this is another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let us tell, tell you something. something. <laughs> yes, sir. We may change that title. Well, we, we'll switch yeah. it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah, yes, sir. We need to. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys tuned in for the first episode. You know, Nate, we, we got we got a chance to catch up, right? Yeah. For people to understand a little bit of our background, our upbringing. Yeah. Uh, kind of what made us us. Yeah. And um, I think that was kind of cool for that for the first episode. But, you know, this is going to be barbershop talk. You know, let me tell you something. When, when, when y'all when y'all hear that, yeah, we're going to have some real conversations. In yes, here. sir. There's going to be some yes, things sir. that we agree on. There's going to yeah. be some things that we disagree on. Yeah. We're going to have some guests that come in that have different perspectives. But one thing you guys can always count on is we're going to hit y'all with the real at all times. I think that's all we know is, is how to be real. Yeah. Um, so for this uh, for this episode today, Nate Dog, mm-hmm. we're gonna hit. I'm gonna hit you right in the mouth with this question. Okay, all right. Is this NFL soft or not? Is that a hard yes or no? Oh yeah, I need, I, I, need a, the I need a black and white <laughs> Scantron lapis number two pencil. <laughs> right. Circle it in nice and right. dark, and then you can back it up with some facts. We're gonna okay. go down a whole list of things, oh. but Ooh, I need okay. to know yes. This NFL is soft, or no, this NFL in 2022 is not soft. It's soft. Woo! I have reasons why. Tissue I paper. Think it's soft. Tissue paper. Not tissue paper. Charm- they get there. They get there. Charmin is a little rough. Baby, they buy Charmin. They, they look like, rough. They look like. rough. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. They Charmin. That, that Charmin is a little rough. I mean, I'm telling you, Charmin is rougher than you think. All uh, right. So, so yeah. you're talking about like the like the thin, the thin ones in the public bathroom. You're talking about <laughs> yeah, that'll get you the ones that your finger go through. Yeah, that'll you got to you wrap it up a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're saying that they, that they saw. They saw. This and NFL saw. Yeah, and uh, the reasons, uh, you know, I was, if, if it wasn't so hardcore, uh-huh. you know, and keeping it real, yeah, because, and I'm going to give you one of my reasons, okay. is the offensive and defensive and head coaches are soft. Ooh. And they are soft because they want scheme over player. Okay. You know, if you have road graders, you know, and I mean guys like offensive linemen, I use myself. Yeah. If I'm a big guy, I can go lateral, but that ain't my forte. My forte is going forward. Okay. But now with these new schemes where everybody want an inside zone, outside zone, you know, everybody want to, uh, you know, get the quick toss, the jet screen. It, that, that's, that calls for running and moving around. True. That don't cause for getting from beat up. Everybody wants to put their scheme in place to show how smart they are. Yeah. Okay. And if you, and are, if are you, you get sound, back to sound, yeah. sound like you hinting towards some uh, some offensive coordinators, <laughs> yeah. you want you yes, want to drop. I, I mean, let yeah. me tell you something. Yes, we we, we drop some names in here yeah, now. But uh, but my thing is, you take and I will use an offensive coordinator that don't play. Okay. Uh, coach Shanahan. Okay. Is I got that right? The yeah. head coach for the 49ers? Yeah, yeah. He can play old school football. Why though? He likes to get on people and maul people. He, he the loves the physical game. Okay. His defense and offenses shows that to a certain extent, people don't know Andy Reid yeah. would show a physical part of his game if you force him to. He's had so much talent on the outside to his darting it around. But now they're gonna have to bring that thing a little bit inside with Tariq Hill going. They got to bring yeah, and yeah. you'll see Andy Reid can put together a nice little run scheme. Yeah. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, so yeah. So you say yes, this yeah. NFL saw. Yeah, because of the coordinators and the cultures of how easy it is there. Yeah, yeah. How easy it is for me to put in a soft scheme than it is to put in a physical scheme. A scheme that allows your players to be the best they can be. They want the and I can't and I can never say this word right, so I know you're gonna have to correct me. <laughs> Are you good? Athleticism. Okay. You hit that. You that hit that, by that the way. is what people want more now yeah to say wow they want the wild, the wild plays factor, by the yeah. athletes now but because if i want to build a team in the quicks where say mr jones came and said i need you to build me a team i need to meet you to build me a winner it ain't necessary to go into the super bowl yeah. it ain't necessary going to the nfc championship oh that that's now though ain't it yeah. but anyway i want you to build me a team and i want it to be competitive yeah but well, the first thing i'm telling is that, hey let's go get some road graders Mm-hmm. Let's go get a running game. Okay, so you see, see I, 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 know, I know where you're going yeah. with that. I'm going yeah. to bring you back. <laughs> right. I'm a, now, as, as, as much as I would love to disagree with you, right. I can't disagree with you. Right, right. This NFL is soft. <laughs> why? Why? I'm going to go. Why? 
This <laughs> NFL is soft. Right. Why? And I'm going to back that up. I'm going to back it up, Nate, okay, dog. Okay. But we have a whole laundry list of things that we have to go down. Right. And and I and I and one of the reasons why I say that, let's go ahead and start off with category number one. Okay. The rules. Yes. The rules have contributed to this NFL being soft. Would you agree? Every day. You can't you can't even put a shoulder up under a chin yeah. and put out a flag. Give people an understanding of what you of some of how the differences in rules were when you played versus what's going on nowadays. Brother, we used to punch a face mask. And, and just mush about it. Yeah, you can, you can't we couldn't grab it, but okay. we could punch a face. You can't punch a face mask. We used to get up under a, a chest pad if it slipped up to the throat. You yeah. wouldn't be held accountable. Choke slam. Uh, now, now <laughs> you, you do that right there. Or you could take a guy and physically slam him on the ground and jam him into the ground. As long as you roll off of him, yeah. it wasn't a call. But if you take a guy and slam him to yeah, the ground force him now, to the ground. oh, it's holding. Pen. If you if you fall, if yeah. you trip and fall on a guy yeah. now, it's, it's a foul. Yeah. yeah, so from an offensive line standpoint, that, that's real soft, man. Yeah. So yeah. I, it's a, so these these new rules in Europe have affected the, how things go down in the trenches. Yes, sir. And I can tell yes, you, sir. as a former quarterback slash receiver, yeah, the rules have made this game soft. Right. And when I say soft, I'm not talking about in particular the players, but this right. NFL right. is soft, and the rules have contributed to that. Think about the quarterback position. If you go back into you and just whisper sack, <laughs> and you just whisper sack in a quarterback's ear nowadays, it's it's, it's a it's a penalty. Right. Right. Wow. Um. A lot of those things, those rules that come into place, obviously, to prevent injuries. Right. That's what the NFL is going to say. That's what Roger Goodell is going to say. That's what the owners are going to say. All everybody who's, who's said, handing, out, handing out these fines, and the money's coming back around. Right. We ain't going to get into that today. Right. Right? But where these more than follow the trail of money, these guys are getting penalized. Now, you think about guys like James Harrison. How much money do you think he got fined when he was playing? Oh, I don't even know. It was probably close to an M. Yeah, right. I mean, he was meal, getting fined yeah. every week for doing the things that he was asked to do. Mm. Um, in this NFL, James Harrison, you know, and, and guys right. like him that are physical, uh, physical players, got fined. But yet, the NFL would turn back around and sell hard hit DVDs. Right. In right. this NFL, they would do their job and hit a quarterback. Right. But now they get penalized because there's only so many really good quarterbacks in this league. Right. We start talking about there's probably mm, ten. Right. Ten like solid quarterbacks yeah, that yeah. you would want leading your franchise. That's right. Right? There's twenty there's twenty two other guys out there that can ball. <laughs> okay, but they're not those those top ten. Right. Okay, right. so you know, the injuries to knees. You got guys like Tom Brady who've had who've had knee injuries. You got the the Joe Burrows of the world now, right? right? You got the Dak Prescott's that are right. you know getting out the pocket and 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 you know, you know, it used to be a thing where you got out the pocket, it was free range, right? right, right. That's even kind of gone away now. Because wow. now these quarterbacks are declaring themselves down and guys right. are trying to pull off. We're talking about split hairs, right? right. Split in seconds. If you right. have all your momentum going forward, you're coming to place a hit on a on a fair game quarterback. And you and you punch out to pull off. If you skitch them at all, penalty. Right. Not only is it a penalty. I don't know if the people out there know Nate Dog. There's a there's a there's a there's a a, a carrier out there that's yeah. that, that ships things around. Right. <laughs> you got right. the you got the UPSs, <laughs> right. the right. FedExes, the right. DHLs, whatever else is out there. And whoever right? cut the best deal, exactly. Who, that's who gets the contract. Yeah. So if you get a penalty in this NFL, you get a call it a, a person up out. Right. You go out there and you rep the passer. You are going to have a fine, right? You're in your locker when you get in there. I think at least in this NFL, there's a FedEx one. Yeah, right? Monday, Monday morning. Monday morning. You walk in your locker, you're taking your stuff off. What's going to be sitting right up there in your, in your upper part of your locker, Nate? Hey, you're going to be from New York. This is in what part <laughs> it's of New York? New York. Yeah. I don't know. It's I don't know what part of it. But you have a thing. You know it's from New York because it'll be the NFL uh -huh. from New York. And what, happens when, you, what yeah. happens when you pull that tab open? You Put just, a little, the one little piece of paper in there, right? Yeah, you just feel your bank account <laughs> shrinking. I don't know if people know this, Nate. I don't right. know if people know this. When you see these personal fouls happen right. and these big penalties, these wow. hard hits, and guys get penalized, and they get these 15 yards or whatever it is, they're playing for free sometimes depending on how much money they make. That's right. Because on that Monday morning, as you just described, when you go to your locker – and you see that 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 white envelope, yeah. Yeah. sitting in your locker with you that grab, stamp. I mean, they got a they got a brand that's unique. You dog because right. you know you see it. Wow, I wish I had that stamp to show y'all. <laughs> that's an ugly stamp coming coming on Monday or Tuesday morning. And what's bro. that do to your heart? To your heart, you got that. Everybody has it's that. Better if you're a free agent, man. Look, I'm gonna talk. We're gonna talk to people. How many times have you lo have you lost your wallet? You know that feeling <laughs> like you lose you lose your wallet. You like, <laughs> yeah. And you looking for it? You try to figure out where the heck you left that. You like, oh man. Somebody got my credit card. They're going to rent it up. 
That's the feeling guys get when they see that envelope. Yes. Because that envelope means that I just taxed you. Not I'm going to tax you. <laughs> yeah. I already taxed you. And for those that don't know, that envelope means that you committed a penalty and they have already went ahead and took and withdrawn money from your check that was going to be paid out to you. It, <laughs> it might be 15 grand. It might right. be 30 grand. Right. It might be more than that. And you know, the thing about it is you can run to the accountant all you want because they're going <laughs> to send you to uh, the head man and the head man will say, you got to see Mr. Jones. Mr. Yeah. Jones will be like, you got to call a tag. Uh, but it's not tag. Yeah, no, not anymore. Paul not, like, <laughs> he could do though. Yeah, tag he could do. Good dude. You can negotiate <laughs> with Coach Wayne with tag. Boo. But this dude here, I don't think you can negotiate with the new. What's the new? Well, I mean, I don't you want talking about the $40 million man, Roger Goodell? Yeah, Roger Goodell. That dude. Yeah, wow. He's been making $40 million tag for the last man, 10 plus years. I remember my last fine was from tag. So, yeah, like, so wow. you remember that name? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, so yeah, so the rules have contributed to a lot of this NFL, in our opinion, being soft. Now, yeah. people out there might have a different opinion, but that it is what it is. In the yeah. trenches, the holding, you talked about that. Yes. We talked about the hits right across the middle. You can't get, you can't take somebody's head off anymore. It used to be under five yards. Yeah. Right? You can, what, what did Mike Tyson say? Protect yourself uh, yeah. at all Protect. times. Right, right, right. That's not the case anymore. Now the referees are protecting the players. And there's a difference of, of opinions in that. There used to be a, kind of a man law. Right. You knew if you didn't do X and X, right. you was going to get your head taken off. Right. And you accepted those consequences. Right. Right? It, what, you got any examples of wow. guys that you just like, or any instances that you knew that, hey, you might have got done in, but you understood that was a part of the game. Yeah, man. And I'm going to tell you, man, when, when I played against, you know, the Bryants, of the, you know, Brian Youngs of the world, Ooh, you know, the Jan, yeah. um, uh, you know, it didn't matter who the defense, Lawrence Taylor, all these guys, Little Marsh, I'm trying to get the inside guys, the fridge. They knew that if they didn't take that center and deposit him two or three steps right quick like, that if that center held him up and it was a pass play, that I was going to wipe them ribs Ooh. out. Big risk. And now, and now, if you take a shot like that guy, I mean, just go in the rough sea, you just take a blind shot on a dude and yeah. kind of to your side, and you hit him up in the ribs, that's going to that gonna garner you something. Now, they may not throw a flag right then, but that FedEx truck is going to be leaving a nice little, you know. <laughs> and the thing about it, the, the thing about it, the ones that I got, they could have sent it in a little envelope. No, nah, they want they you to see it. They see the thing in yeah, a... Yeah, they want you to see it. Yeah, so Absolutely. when you tie that thing, man, you can just see your wallet just yeah, shrink. It's gone. It's gone. But that's, <laughs> but that's a great transition. You talk about the type of opponents that you were going against. I mean, these right. are Hall of Fame guys. Yeah. Right? I mean, when you talk about, you know, Bill Belichick being the greatest coach of all time, the one person that he stands behind is who? Yeah. Lawrence Taylor. That's right. Right? That's, that's one right. person he said is the greatest cat I ever coached. <laughs> yeah. Right? And so you talk about guys like that. We understand now, we just talked about the rules and how that's affected. How have the rules affected the type of players and how players are now soft? So you got about the LTs, right? LT understood if he let himself open, his, his ribs is oh, going to yeah. be gone like oh, Justin yeah. Timberlake, right? Because I'm going to give you an example. You know, if we turn into protection towards uh, LT, we're not leaving to an A. We, we telling to an A. Get out, set out so far till you make him run into Nate. Yeah, yeah. And once I get him and stand him up, because I'm going to try to shoot him right to the face. Yeah. You know, with my head face to face, I'm going to try to shoot him try right to, him to make where he can throw his hands up yeah. so Tua can come wipe him. You know, and a lot of times, if you got, you know, if, if he go off balance, you fall off balance as a tackle coming back to get him, and you down there on his knees. That's a flag. Yeah. Because they call, I, I don't know what they call that, but you can't, I can't stand a guy while you wipe him away, even though that high guy low. is the high-low. Yeah. And that's a flag. Yeah. Now, you may not get a flag because the ref may see it. Yeah. and say, okay, Lawrence was falling anyway. But here come the truck. Yeah. But, but, the, but players now, players now, they crying about that, bro. Yeah, yeah. They are crying. Oh, you fell. On my, come on, bro, you fell. Yeah. You fell, man. Yeah. And so players now, we don't do that. We don't wipe players. We don't high-low players. We don't. Uh, we don't, the backside of sweeps, you're not allowed to cut. To cut backside. Yeah, yeah. so we we don't cut no more. What do you say to those that say that that playing that style of play back in the day was dirty? They don't, man. And and I, but I, I I've always was 
weary of that because uh, Coach Wise used to cuss me out Ooh. because I would not cut players because I was so big back yeah. then. You know, I'm big now, but I was three, <laughs> 320, 340, and I didn't want to roll up and blow up a yeah. dude's ankle. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, man, be weary. Now. I'm a, at some point in this game, I'm going to get at your knees. Yeah. And they like, thanks for telling me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that was my and, uh, and even though I would tell them, I would still cut yeah, them. Yeah. And, uh, and they, they'll get up. They wouldn't say nothing. They'll, they'll be looking at you now yeah. because I'm going to tell you, the 49ers was notorious for that back in the day. Huh. They were notorious. Uh, uh, the great uh, Howard Long, yeah. after a game one time, went into their locker room and tried to throw down on their linemen. They had to, they had to call, they had to, you know, grab Big Howard He's Long. About it, you huh? Oh, he, they used to be notorious for. For cutting, but nowadays you do that, you you will be out of the league. You will be fined. You do it again. You will be suspended. And you, so, so yeah. if, they, if you saw that in the game right now, would you call that soft or would you call it dirty? Would you, would you, would you, would you say somebody playing that style right is dirty or they are they being, they doing, they what being they, tough? They doing what they doing what the system asks them to do? They doing the coach. So you you as a defensive player, you have to work on that. You see it on film. Yeah. It, it ain't like it's coming and you don't know it. There's drills for that. There's drills for that. So you you, you it. Protect yourself at all times. Yeah. So that right there, you can call it dirty, yeah. but it was a physical brand. It was the 49ers way of being physical. Yeah. You know, so. And that was the expectations, right? Yeah. So from the player's perspective, the coaches understood it, right? The players understood when I'm we're playing against this team, this is what to what you're going to expect from this yes. team. It's going to be a physical game. You're going to leave this game beat up. You're going to leave this game bruised. You're going to leave this game bloody. No different than boxing, right? You face right. you face Mike Tyson. You know what you're getting into, right? right? You face you face you face Mayweather. You might look the same when you walk away. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But but when you face certain individuals, right? You know that you're gonna get beat right, up. Right. And I feel like that's an element of this NFL that's missing. Wow. You know, I really feel I I dislike the fact that all these rules that are being implemented. Understood the argument. The opposing argument is, oh well, it's a safer game now. Right, you're protecting guys. You know, you got the, you know, you got the CTE conversations. You got the, you know, the concussions. You got the the knees that they're worried about. All these things that we understand are a part of the game, right. and, and they have a duty to try to limit those injuries. Get it? Totally understand that argument. However, while you're doing that, you've made the game soft. And, and you know what's amazing? Uh, the Detroit Lions are trying to be physical now, and they're having a hard got the time new coach. building that. Yeah, Campbell. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the 49ers, they literally came into our stadium last year. And and one thing that we discussed wait, over wait, and wait, over wait, on our show. you got to bring that up, Nate. Yeah. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Is I was so nervous that they would get the ball first. And not only did they get the ball first, we gave it to them. Knowing that they were the more physical team. The game was over when they came out the locker room. That, Let's be honest. <laughs> when they came out the locker room with the boom box and you had Debo and Trill Williams and all them cats, you knew the game was over. We, yeah, we talked about yeah. it. Yeah, and, and you tried to keep me at peace because I was mad. <laughs> we sit up there watching the game, and I'm like, this game is over. It's over. This game, you the like, no, no, no. They'll get it together. No. No, that game was over. That was, But that was straight bully ball. Yeah, it was. Right now, obviously, they play within the confines of the rules, but – would you say that the 49ers of last year, right, 2021-2022 right. season, are more representative of what the NFL you played in? It was so it was close because they knew that if they uh, played to try to let their quarterback win the game, toss it all over the field. You know, you got the yeah, Debo Samuels, but that ain't how he do. You know, that ain't how he do, does it. Okay, so. Outside of Debo Samuels, who do you look at? You look at the quarterback. Well, their quarterback wasn't that guy. Yeah. Just tossed it all over the field. But they got some running backs and the offensive line and the defensive line that like to get after you. Okay. And the coach just played. He played to his strengths. And they are a physical team. Yeah, uh, yeah they, they're the closest thing, man. And I'm not saying you come out running the ball you know, 30, 40 times. But if you got a team that you think is high-powered offensively, and you a physical team, offensively and defensively. What well, play to your strength? Play to your strength. I got a couple questions. As you talk about that, right? A lot, a lot, a big, a large aspect of being tough, right, mm -hmm. and and not being soft in this NFL, is it always in regards to running game, right? No, the big, the big nasties up front. Nah, nah. Can you be a passing team and still not be soft? That's right. You can. How? Yeah, you can. Because 
I, I saw the 49, excuse me, I saw the Kansas City Chiefs a couple of years ago. Okay. They were physical. All right. Uh, their tight end. Kelsey. It's physical, bro. Yeah, yeah. I saw him catch the ball and, and, and be looking for. He want to punish uh, you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, in the past game, you, you didn't get on their quarterback. And if you watch the play all the way through, they line will be latched to you. Yeah. And they finish you, yeah. you know, by pushing. See, the game is a little bit more than just hitting. Okay. Because what we were taught and what a lot of good offensive linemen, and when I go talk to young guys, when I say, okay, the whistle don't blow, bro. Okay, that's fine. And you done stop blocking this dude for the whistle even finish blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is, finish. Zev, if me and you lock up uh-huh. and the whistle blow, you're going to have to ask me, hey, Nate, man, you got to quit shoving me. <laughs> hey, Nate, man, you got to get your hands off me. Hey, to the point where you're going to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah club. Like, get man, your hands yeah. off me. And now what I'm trying to now do. That's personal. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is to get you so locked into me to even when the play start, you. you yeah, you work. <laughs> you <laughs> That's physical, you bro. About the wrong thing. Yeah, That's absolutely. physical. Absolutely. You know, and now now when the ref look up, he'll see me shoving you, but he'll see you more coming back with that right, that yeah. overhand right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not only I, I, physically I get get finishing that. you, yeah. I'm physically got you connected to me now. So when I, after I left Dallas, right, mm-hmm. I got released by Dallas after my second year. I right. went, I got a call from Belichick to go to New England. Right. Okay. And one thing about playing in New England was you going to play physical. Right. There's no soft teams allowed right. with Bill Belichick. Right. I don't care who's at the quarterback position. I don't care who's on that defensive <laughs> right. front. Right? right. You can talk about all the greats that they had on defense. You can talk right. about all the greats they've had on offense. One thing that's always consistent about Belichick's football is going to be physical. Right. You know that. Yes. Right. And one aspect that they that they asked of me to bring was the physicality. Right. And I went out there as a quarterback wow. slash receiver. Now I wasn't going to touch the field as a quarterback. Obviously, right. there's there was a dude up there at <laughs> right. the time, uh, but I could help out at the receiver position. And at the time when I got there, it was Joey Galloway, right, right out there. Uh, Joey was there. JG was out there, <laughs> right, man. Right. So Joey Galloway, Wes Welker, Julian Edelman. Uh, we had a, a cat named uh, Ashley Aiken, and we had uh, Randy Moss. Wow. Okay. Wow. And I was a guy that had fit in there. There was also Tate too. Tate was there as well. Uh, so the aspect that they were looking for for me was the physicality. And I had one job. I had two jobs. Clear things out for Moss, mm, <laughs> right? Because wow. I was the only cat that could, that can get on the, on, the, on the good foot and go. Right, right. Me and Matthew Slater, who's still yeah. playing somehow, some way. Right. And and when they ran this, when we ran a lot of screen routes, right, for, to Welker and, and right. Julian and these guys, be physical. Right. And I can remember uh, one of the first games I started, we were playing against Peyton Manning. In, in doggone new Indianapolis Colts, or I don't even know what it's called, Lucas Oil. Yeah. And the yeah. new, the brand new Lucas Oil Sunday night football, it was going wow. down, right? One of those, one of those big time games that they run back on NFL Network now. And I remember being physical and saying, owning my job. My job is to throw you into the doggone front row of the stands. Right. And I will go out there at my 235 pounds, 6'3, right. 235, and I will lock up on these 190 pound, you know, defensive backs, right. and I will run them. All the way into the doggone Gatorade bin. Right, right. right? And they would, have, to your point, get off me, get off me. Right, you know, you cheat, he's holding rep. And I used to walk away from him, get in the weight room. Right, you don't want me right. to hold you, get in the get weight room. room. Get yeah. in the weight room. You know, right. and, but like that, I understood that was my that was my job. And that's the aspect that I was required to bring to the game. And as I start thinking about these players now, I try to think and say, okay, yeah, the rules have made this game soft. The rules, as a consequence, have made players soft because of the expectation now that the right. players have for the referees right. to execute these new rules, right. right? Can't fall at the feet. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback, somebody hit the quarterback's hand, that was a penalty. Hit somebody across the middle, right? All these things have started to affect the players. So it leads me to think about what type of players are the type of guys in this, right now that are playing that you would want on your team. And there's only a handful of cats that I could think about on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball that I would really want on my team that bring that element of physicality. Right. And you got the Aaron Donalds of the world. Where he picked a dude up that was over 300. Aaron Donald probably weighed what, 275? Solid. He 275 and picked a dude up that's 320 pounds and chunked him on top of a running back and in turn ran into the quarterback. That ain't nothing but physical, man. Mm -hmm. And he not only physically in his heart and in his built, but did you see him in the uh, NFC Championship game pull his team together? Oh, absolutely. And brought them together. Put it on his back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. But, but you knew that, though, right? Yeah. And the offensive linemen that were going against him, they knew that. <laughs> right? They're, absolutely, yeah, right? right, there's, right. Only, there, there's only a handful of guys that not only possess the skills and the talent, but also the physicality right. that you would like to have with you that, that could have played with you. Right. Right? And, and wow. Aaron Donald is, is one of them. Another one of the guys that I'm thinking about, I had to look it up because I blanked out on his name. Uh, where are we at here? Da, 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 da. Defensive end. I still not seen it. Defensive end for the Raiders. What's yeah, his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max Cros- uh, uh, Crosby. Crosby. Yeah, yeah. Ma- Max oh, yeah. Crosby. That's yeah. a that's a cat that has a toughness that I would want on a team of mine. He got paid not so much for his athletic ability, effort. but his effort and the willingness to mix it up. Relentless. Wow. Yep. So that's another wow. individual I talk about. Um, on a defense side of the ball, you go to somebody, you know, it hurts my heart because I'm from Seattle and, you know, I'm a Dallas guy too. Right. But I'm from Seattle and Dallas had the opportunity right. to get this dude. Wagner. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. But ain't Wagner that lost a step? Stop this. <laughs> Stop this. You go across that middle if you want to. Bobby Wagner will hit you in your whole chest. Hit you in your Whoa. whole chest. Right? Whoa. Offensively. Right? Remember his Definitely. running buddy used to be there with him? Uh, uh, is he... KJ. Yeah. Yeah, he, he with the Raiders. You the Raiders. Man, those, those that tandem was nasty. Th- that was a physical tandem, yeah. bro. Yeah, and when, when they were in Seattle, they had Cam Chancellor back yes. there. Yes. And Earl. That, oh, that was a they that was, physical. was a physical. And Earl was the recipient of those three guys. Absolutely. He like, okay, if they just happen to squeeze by y'all, I'll get I'll the, finish them off. I'll finish them off. I'm like that landmine. If they get through y'all, <laughs> uh, I'm like that last bomb where you say, I made it. Boom. Yeah, and it blow yeah. up on you. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, but then flip it to the offensive side of the ball, right? We could talk about a lot of defensive guys, but flip it to the offensive side of the ball. There's there's one guy in the Dallas Cowboys offensive line that you would want to play with you back in the day. <sighs> Who is that? Lee Martin? Who is that? Hmm? Martin couldn't have played with you guys back tell in the day? You what, Martin is physical. Uh-oh. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. He lost something. We let him get away. Ooh. The big kid from LSU we had, uh, the big right tackle, went no. two years ago. The big right tackle. He he lost it this year. Collins. Collins. If he wouldn't have had the injuries, he was nasty. Oh man, he could have played with us. Really? Col- hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to make sure we're saying this right. You pick Collins over Martin. I just need to hear you say. Let, that, let me say this right here. Martin could have played with us. Okay. But I'm talking about nasty, uh, willing to just do it, go go the extra mile. Yeah, man. And see, uh, Collins is a better athlete than, than I mean, excuse me, Martin is a better athlete way, way more. Martin yeah. is a shoe in for the Hall of Fame. Okay. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, Collins may not. Yeah. But the way he played, yeah, he I knew you. by the end of the game. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You was going to be defeated. Do you think he's going to get that thing back like Stella? You think, <laughs> you think, huh? think he's going to go? I don't know if he's going to get it back. Because you know who he's protecting now. Yeah, he, uh, he's up He's up in... Uh, Cincy. Yeah, and he ain't got to block as long. Yeah. Because that boy, they're they, they going to try to find a way to get that ball out. But see, you, you, you're talking about physical and nasty. Okay. You know, Martin, Martin ain't going to let an elbow slip mm. to your face mask. Well, Collins would let her. He wants it. Yeah. yeah what, let, what about Tyron? Tyron. Oh, Tyron could have played with it just because he just he just was so oh, he just, opposing. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. But is he nasty? Uh no, nah, Tyron, you know, he gon he gonna too nice. He, yeah, he he gon see, it's a thin line. Tyron and Martin could have played with us. No doubt. Cause they had the athletic ability and okay. the skill. And they would have had that mindset. If asked of them, it was not. It's not asked of them. So we are talking about culture. I got that on the yeah, list too. See, that's that, that's my that's. Yeah. And I didn't know you had that list yeah, like it, that. I got it on there. Yeah, yeah. but to, if you're asked by, and, and I'm gonna tell you a great coach, uh, Galloway, Callaway, Callaway. Yeah. He was here, and him and Coach Garrett couldn't get along, but that guy there demanded that. Mm. He went up to the Commanders. Ooh. And I don't know where he at now, but he wants more than you willing to give. See, guys ain't willing to give that, letting that elbow slip or, you know, rolling on the ground and, you so, know, by you mistakes. See, you, know? you said you just keep rolling right into my list right here. Right, so right. what you're talking about right now is culture. Yeah, culture, man. The 
culture, would you say that the culture of the NFL now is soft because of the coaches? The coaches, the rules, rules all that, uh, right? Longevity, players. What you talking about is you've said it, I've said it, it's the coaches. The league will not allow that. Not only will the Players Association will not allow that type of culture, the owners are not going to allow that type Why of culture. Why, though, Nate? Well, I mean, football's a physical game, yes? Right, yes. You understand that. Yes. I understand that. Anybody out there understands that. Maybe right. if you haven't strapped it on, maybe you don't understand it, but it's a physical game. Right. When we sign up and we understand that this is going to be physical. Right. I pray that I don't injure nobody, but I want to hurt somebody. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to injure somebody, but I want to hurt somebody. Right, and that's that's a part of the game. I want to hurt you. I want to hurt your spirit. Right. I want to take your soul away from you to the point where you don't even want to look me in the eye. Right. But I don't want to injure you. Right. There's a there's a, there's a thin line. Right. It's a thin right. line. But that's a part of the game, and you have to have that edge. If you want to be one percent of the one percent, that's an element that you have to possess. Unless you're kicking a ball. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's that's the reality. Right. Is 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 eat or be eaten. Right. Hit or be hit. Right. And wow. and, and I'm gonna be the hitter. Instead of being the one that's on the recipient side of it. Right. So, on the culture side of it, you talked about Jason Garrett. Why do you think that Jason Garrett's legacy is now going to be perceived as being soft? Because getting Garrett guys and things of that nature. Now, that's just one team we could talk yeah, about, but right? He, but he tried to bring a more physical culture. You think so? Yes, I, yeah. I, I know he did, but... Uh, With what additions? Uh, not, you, you're talking about what, what, what players... I think he tried to do it with his offensive line. Okay. You know, but due to the fact that this is a, this is what I struggle with. It is a thin line. You can't practice the way me and you practice. Mm. That that right there will... will that will, goes into will, culture. Yeah, it does, but it wears you down for the long haul. And that's what I keep saying is for the long haul. Me and you knew at the rate we was going... Yeah. If we got 10 years in, That's we were time. fortunate. Yeah. Well, 10 years is more geared to this new NFL. Agreed. You can see a lot of guys getting 10 years Practice in. Practice schedule. Yeah, everything. Pass, you can, yeah, it's how much you time know. you can be at the facility. Thank you. All those things. So all of these things packaged together don't allow you, you know, unless the Ravens are a physical team, the 49ers are a physical team, Detroit are trying to be physical. Teams that have the ability to be physical, excuse me, is is the Chiefs. They have the ability to be physical if they if they need to be. I think Andy Reid can turn them into a physical team. I don't. Let me think. Who else? Is there anybody else? Seattle used to be real yeah, physical. To, I don't be, know what happened. Yeah. You know, uh, I think it was the running back. That running back had that mentality. Marshall. Y'all had better offensive linemen. So, so, so is it? So, let me ask this question. This is this. It's a this a deal pick up a question. Who's more responsible for the culture of an organization, the players or the coaches? The coaches, but you have to have coaches, and you have to have ownership that wants that. So now the scouts can go out and draft that. If you don't want that, it's not going to be there. So why so why isn't Pittsburgh feared then? Pittsburgh used to be feared. That is a, that's a team. Mike, Mike Tomlin's a dog now. Okay, you know what? They tried to change things for their quarterback, but now they they see like okay, we got to go back to the old Pittsburgh. Run this ball, run this ball. You alluded when we was putting this show together a couple of days. Cowboys got to do the same thing. You know, Dak is Dak. But if Dak don't return back to that two year ago get Dak or that yeah. three year ago Dak, we're not going to be successful. With Dallas, we we all I think most people out there would agree that Dallas's culture defensively changed. Yes, night overnight. Right. right. Is that more in part to Dan Quinn or Michael Parsons? Both, because Dan Quinn had to go out and get that that, that egg. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So now the, the chicken out of the egg. Yeah. No, they were smart <laughs> to get that chicken, but he had to go out and lay that egg. When he laid that egg, yeah, bro. Yeah, he laid yeah, that he egg. Laid that egg. That golden. Not only did he lay that egg, he 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 went sunny side up with it. You know, <laughs> he got the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah, 
For real now, I'm yeah. telling you. No, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So, I mean, so, you, I, I, yeah, so it takes both parties, right? It takes, yeah, it, takes it a, does, man. To overcome the the rules, to overcome some of these athletes, because you, you mentioned the athletes are capable. Yes. But they're not going to turn the switch on unless it's demanded of them. If you demand, if, if, if you demand it and, and you coach Parsons, you ain't got to yell at him, cuss him out. Yeah, yeah. But if you coach Parsons, say, hey, man, we need more of that. Parsons, and you asking Parsons to give more of who he is and be physical. Now, what 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 that, that 29th man on the defensive side of the ball going to say? Yeah. He's going to like, wow, man. And then you say, yeah, Lee, Nate. Here we got Parsons breaking his neck. And we asked for you to just come down and, <laughs> and you know set up a tackle a tackle in stunt yeah. and you don't even you don't even hit the you don't even hit the guard. You just go down there and rub the guard. Yeah. Being selfish instead of being physical with this dude and knocking him off his feet. Yeah. So my end can get around and get that sack. What what are you doing here? But you know? but as these cultural differences start to take place because of the rules, because of the protection, because of you know, coaches, what's the future outlook of football? Like what 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 like what's it gonna turn into? Because more rules are being implemented that are taking away from the toughness of the game. So just I mean, this is just just this is by chance now. As these youngsters come up, right? There's more flag football. You know right? what? As these youngsters come up, <laughs> these coaches are gonna ask. Let me say something, <laughs> Hop, hey, Derek Harper may like this, yo. He got a podcast yeah. on his head, yeah, on the dub. On the dub network, yeah. yeah. Say so, hey, basketball is getting a little more physical. <laughs> You think so? <laughs> yeah, man. They, uh, did you see the playoffs? Did you see what the Warriors did to my Celtics, man? I hear you. They, they, Draymond was getting into these dudes. Those man. are the only – there's only a handful of cats in the league doing that too now. <laughs> right, but right. back in the day, you could clothesline somebody <laughs> right, in basketball right, and be all right. Right, right. right. But I'm telling you. I'm worried about the future of football. Yeah. I, I, I truly am if worried about If we're going to call it football as we know it. Exactly. And that's what we're talking about. So we start talking about is it soft – is it soft or is it safe? Right? That's really the question that to be asked because honestly, what we consider to be soft is what this new generation of leadership is calling safe. Yes. Right? We're protecting you from, from head injuries, right? We're, we're cutting back on the concussions. That's why kickoff is pretty much non existent now. Right. You might as well take kickoff out. You don't right. kick the ball in bounds no more. Right. They scooted it up to doggone fall. Yeah, give it, right? put it on the 25, put let's it, go. Yeah, let's go, right? Um, so that part of the game is probably going to be voted upon and taken right. away. Right. Um, you know, then you got, the, uh, you got the players, right? The players are culturally being changed because it's simply just how they're coming up. Right? They're coming up being taught to touch. They're coming up being taught not to hit somebody, you know what I'm saying, above the chest. Right? They can't hit nobody head to head no below, more. Below, below. Below the knees. Can't hit them below the knees. You can't hit them in the chest. You can't hit them in the head. You can hit them in the belly button. And if you hit them in the belly button and you lead with you the crown of the helmet, it's still going to be a flag. So the players, not their fault, but they're coming up being taught not to be physical, which in turn, from our perspective, is being soft. Right. So as we start looking towards the future of football, what can we truly expect it to be? Because football as we know it is going away. The, the, the thing is I don't I don't know what to expect. The age I'm at, and you know, the few years I got left, I'm just gonna enjoy <laughs> yeah. what is perceived to be football. You know, and we're and, and me and you, I would like to think we're not we're not the guys. We know it's a thin line between not enough. They're not, they're not doing enough practicing mm -hmm. to give you the best product on the field. Yeah, you know. And See, the but coach, the other yeah. side would argue. Well, guess what? Because we're not practicing as much, they're fresher for the field. Nah, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just nah. telling you what people are thinking right now. Nah, now because if you really work Monday, if you really work Monday through Thursday, you know your body will pop back on Friday and Saturday, and you good to go. You know, what yeah. advantage did you have and I have our version of camp in two days versus <clears throat> this generation's version of camp in two days? Because now two days is a real practice and then a walkthrough. Back in the day, it was grind it out. We scrimmage it in practice. Go eat some lunch. Come back. We're doing it again. Yeah. The, the, the thing that I tell people is I like how they practice now. But you don't have to, uh, but you can have them in pads every practice. You can have them in pads. No because, shells. Y you know, 
we did our first, we opened up with 707. And I ain't talking about throwing a ball around. It was 709, really. Yeah, 907. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. And we ran, and we, it, like the first 10 plays was all running plays. We're going to yeah. do 15 running plays. Yeah. And, and I knew I was going to do nine of them. And for people that don't know what the 907 drill is, yeah. that's your offensive line, right? You're your running backs, your offensive line, quarterbacks, tight ends, running backs, right? right. Just the receivers are out, yeah. right? And then on the defensive side of the ball, Thank you. they have their defensive line, their linebackers, and their safety. Safeties, in there. yes. And we would run 15 plays, uh, and Oof. I was going to do nine of them. And we did this in the morning. And our scale-down version in the evening – was we call it inside run, <laughs> where <laughs> everybody run. was involved. No, where everybody oh, was involved. Oh, Quarterback, wow. wide receiver, and it was called inside run. I'm like, really? Why would we have wide receivers coming in on inside run? <laughs> cut off, backside cut off. <laughs> yeah. So everybody had to get a little physical at yeah. some point in some time, but that was too much. Mm. I, I would tell people that was too much. What we need now is that thin line of. You come in, you've been, they've been off now for almost six weeks. They're going to come in and, and mess around and have a, a little sprint test. And then they're going to um, uh, mess around for three days with no pads. Why? Why are you going to mess around for three days with no pads? And then you're going to put on pads. And then in the evening, you're not going to have on pads. And the next day, you're going to pray that they have on pads unless the coach have one of them – Unfortunate calls. Well, let's give them an extra. Well, they game. play a game within yeah. the first two, just over two weeks. Of yes. Camp. So you 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 play against a different. They play Dallas Cowboys. Play against the Denver Broncos. I think on August. What Tyler Smith need every day of pads he can get. Okay, the rookie. Yeah, that's our uh, new left tackle. Left new left guard. guard. Yeah. New left tackle because Tyron gonna miss four or five games. <laughs> new left tackle. We I thought we was keeping it real. Okay, I'm sorry. We should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. No, nah, let him know. Let him know. Yeah. Right. He going to miss four or five games. You just pray it's the la- that he get that over with in the first 10 games. So if they have a shot at they the playoffs, he could be. he be there. Yeah, he can be there. So, and, and Tyron, no, I'm not knocking him. Yeah. It's, it's your history. It's just the history. Yeah, so uh, he's our new left tackle, left guard. And he needs every day of work, especially if they're going to move him. To left tackle, he need every ounce of work he can get in pads, even if they're not hitting on that day. In pads with a helmet on, mm. I believe in that man. Do Put on some pads and a helmet. Last question, all right? Being that you know we're right here in Dallas, Dallas Cowboys Nation, right. we both play for the Cowboys. The defense, I think we both agree, the defense has a, had a brand new culture last year. Right. They're they're not soft. Right. anymore. The That's year before right. that, it is a different conversation. Right, right. Last year, they canceled all those th- all those right. conversations. Right. That's a tough defense now. That's right. right. Tough physical the expectation right. is fast physical. Yeah. Right? Less Gregory, more Sam. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Sam is, can do some things. Does this offense, with this offense coordinator, have an opportunity to turn that perception of softness around and be physical again like old Dallas Cowboys? Only if they run. Only if they run the ball. If they come out trying to pass the ball with a new wide receiver in Washington, with a new wide receiver in the kid we drafted in the th- what, third round, mm-hmm. with a new tight end, and we don't know if he can catch or whether he can run, block, or get in the way. It, with all of this right here, that's, that's too many question marks. Mm. The only thing that's going to save us, Cowboys, if we can run the ball, that's going to save us. So is that a yes or a no? What was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Can the Cowboys offense shed the soft title? If they can run the ball. I'm with you, Nate. If they can't run the ball, and you backing up 30, 40 times a game, 50 times a game, they gonna be able to, know. are they going to be able to run the ball against the, the Commanders? No. Against the, the 49ers? No, against, not them either. You know what I'm thinking about. Who is that? Philly, they, the Philly, Tampa Bay's of the Philly. world, Philly, with them two big nasties in there. All I'm saying is, <laughs> if the Cowboys, if the Cowboys can run the ball. <laughs> All right, hey, listen up. You, you got to see it right there. Hey, 
For those that are listening out there, y'all, and we appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, this is <laughs> let me well, tell hold you. On. He'll be in, I'll be in training camp. Yeah, we'll from be the twenty fifth to the eighth. We'll You'll be, be in the training we'll camp. We'll be rolling. We'll, we'll, we'll piece it together. Yeah. You guys will get some. We'll, we'll continue to collab. Right. You guys continue to tune in right here on the Dub Network. Okay, you guys. We got plenty of other people. We got Ludwig. We got Derek Harper. All right, we we got we, we got, got Ryan. We got my guy Mitch. Yeah. All right, so we got we got a lot of people. Okay, if you guys haven't tuned in wow. before, thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me tell you something with Nate and Zay. We'll see y'all next time.